I'm Patrick Lewis, the director of the Technology Transition Division at Hepburn & Sons, where we focus on de-risking and maturing technologies for transition readiness to support our warfighters with enhanced capabilities. In this presentation, I will be discussing a small business technology transfer project. We are performing with Stibly electrical connectors on medium voltage, direct current coaxial insulated bus pipe technology. Hepburn and Sons LLC provides expert advisory and engineering services as trusted advisors to the American maritime industry, in addition to technology transition. The Technology Transition Division specializes in developing and transitioning advanced technologies to revolutionize our warfighting capabilities. There are several ongoing technology projects, such as Medium Voltage Direct Current, or MVDC, Partial Discharge, and Space Charge Testing, Insulated Bus Pipe or IBP Manufacturing Improvements, and Demonstration of Coaxial IBP. The company was founded in 2010 and is based out of Manassas, Virginia. The company is comprised of three divisions that align with our main objective areas, advisory services, engineering support services, and technology transition. The advisory services division's two primary functions are naval process, system and operations analysis, and expert witness. Engineering Support Services provides expertise in naval architecture, naval engineering, ship integration and safety, test planning execution, and overall program coordination. The Technology Transition Division de-risks and matures strategic technologies for transition readiness in defense applications. Hepburn & Sons is proud to partner with industry leaders and distinguished universities throughout the country in support of our many government clients. The vision is to lower integration risk and mature technology for mission-critical DOD needs. We bridge innovative research, advanced technology development, and national capability needs. The division has specific capabilities in innovation incubation, system of system engineering, technology transition campaigns, technology maturation and demonstration, and technology dual use commercialization. The U.S. Navy is seeking a medium voltage direct current coaxial insulated bus pipe conductor capable of distributing power at voltage ratings from 850 VDC up to 12 kilovolts DC and ampacity up to 4 kiloamps. Magnetic fields must be limited so as not to disrupt systems on board, nor increase the ship's magnetic signature, complying with U.S. Navy EMI requirements. Connections and terminations must be maintenance-free to reduce the risk of loose connections and associated arc faults. A current MVDC bus pipe specification does not currently exist. However, the MVDC IBP system is expected to comply with applicable military standards and specifications such as shock, fire, and electromagnetic interference. Electric and magnetic fields must be managed and comply with Navy EMI requirements. Shipboard power distribution currently utilizes cables that are limited in ampacity to approximately 400 to 700 amps per conductor. This requires multiple cables, terminations, and laborious cable pulling for installation. Multiple paralleled copper conductors are difficult to install, heavy, include a large bend radius, and require more of the ship's internal volume to meet the needs of future combatants. Medium voltage, direct current coaxial insulated bus pipe provides unparalleled distribution EMI mitigation, support of modular ship construction during pre-outfitting, and provides swap C savings, especially for high power, and amperage applications for equipment configurations. Coaxial insulated bus pipe offers a reduced cross-sectional area and weight per linear foot. This technology is designed to enable future technologies on naval platforms, such as integrated warfare systems, directed energy weapons, high power distribution, and pulsed DC loads. 
Hepburn and Sons with Stoibley's electrical connectors have developed a medium voltage direct current coaxial insulated bus pipe. The design can distribute power at the 12 kilovolts and 4 kiloamps for 48 megawatts. This will meet most anticipated U.S. Navy loads while providing significant electromagnetic interference mitigation and savings in power density over conventional shipboard cable. The design features concentric conductors, a boltless electrical connector design, angled couplers with a tight bend radius, solid dielectric insulation system design, and a protective outer shell. The project is currently in the first option year of Phase 2 and funded until September 2024. The team is manufacturing a prototype and is expected to be at technology readiness level 6 as of September 2024. We are planning on using the Phase 2, Option 2 period to continue development of the technology by testing its EMI shock and vibration performance. Future work includes a full-scale prototype validation, land-based test site demonstration, and qualification testing. The CIBP design provides significant swap seat savings and reduced bend radius, supporting power-dense shipboard equipment arrangements. The design serves as an enabler for high power loads while offering a lower magnetic signature. This is achieved through concentric conductors with inner and outer currents flowing in opposite direction, mitigating associated electric fields. The boltless, modular design supports reduced maintenance ease of replacement, and even simplifies replacement at sea. The CIBP is estimated to save over 50% of labor cost in supporting modular ship construction, where CIBP can be installed during pre-outfitting. The Phase 2, Option 2 will conclude with shock, vibration, and EMI verification testing. Before the technology can be transitioned to the fleet, additional full-scale system development, testing, and qualification will be required outside the scope of the current project. Our business plan is to proceed in formulating a design that increases the manufacturing readiness level. Additional segments of CIBP including additional lengths, 90-degree connector, and 45-degree connector must be developed before the technology can be viable for shipboard use. Potential Navy application include high power distribution, pulsed DC loads, directed energy weapons, and integrated warfare systems. CIBP is also very applicable in commercial use where power density is critical. Examples of where this technology can be employed is as a replacement for gas insulated power lines, in utility power substations, the cruise line industry, and offshore platforms. Qualification of this technology requires U.S. Navy program office support and technical warrant holders to create the pool for the technology. Hepburn and Sons and Stobley's strategy is to work with the end production in mind. Seeking follow on commercialization contracts will enable the team to pursue qualification testing to certify the electrical and structural integrity of the technology offering and deliver products for a Navy program of record. Once identified, Stobley will manufacture and sell the distribution system, while Hepburn and Sons will provide systems engineering support to the shipyards on the integration and installation of CIBP. Hepburn and Sons is located in Old Town, Manassas, Virginia, less than an hour west of D.C. We will be exhibiting the technology at the Syscom 2025 Technology Showcase. If you have questions about this technology or are interested in other technologies that we are de-risking for the warfighter, please use the contact info shown on this slide deck to get in touch.